Unveiling the mystery of untouched by time. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase in English, untouched by time. This phrase is a beautiful example of how language can paint vivid images and convey deep meanings. Let's explore together what this phrase means and how you can use it in your conversations and writings. Untouched by time is a phrase that evokes a sense of permanence and timelessness. It's often used to describe something that has not changed, aged, or deteriorated despite the passage of time. Imagine a centuries-old castle still standing tall and majestic, or a love that remains strong years after it first blossomed. These are things that remain unaffected by the changes and challenges time usually brings. To fully appreciate this phrase, let's break it down. Untouched. This word suggests that something has not been altered, harmed, or influenced. It carries a sense of purity and originality. By time, time here is personified, almost as if it's a force that can impact or change things. By saying something is untouched by time, we imply that time has had no power over it. This phrase isn't just for poetic or literary contexts. You can use it in everyday language too. For example, describing a place. The ancient village remains untouched by time, with its traditional houses and old-fashioned customs. Talking about a person. Despite her age, she seems untouched by time, with a spirit as youthful as ever. In storytelling, their love was untouched by time, enduring all trials and tribulations. Untouched by time is a prime example of figurative language. It helps create more vivid, imaginative ways of expressing ideas. Such phrases add depth and color to our speech, making it more engaging and impactful. And that's our journey through the beautiful phrase, untouched by time. We hope you've enjoyed exploring its meaning and usage. Remember, language is not just a tool for communication. It's an art form that allows us to express the depth and richness of our experiences and emotions. Keep experimenting with phrases like this to make your English more colorful and expressive. See you in the next video.